Hey guys, meet Ashley. She is riding Wyatt, who's a 14 year old, 16.1 hand Dutch warm blood. And this is her first time jumping since 2.5 years ago. She hopes to show the two nine hunters this summer. Also fun fact, Ashley has ridden Penny before. Good morning guys, welcome to Sunday. Sunday on the farm. Is it stuck? Sam has the tractor stuck. This is the second time, second time of this season, this winter, Sam has the tractor stuck. I think it has to do with the fact that something's broken on it that he's waiting for a part to fix. And I think it's like the, the four wheel drive part of it or something. So he tries to use it anyway while he's waiting, but just keeps getting stuck. I brought down all of Gabby's new Chino stuff. If you guys missed the video, we went to a tax sale to buy all these fun things because they were 30 to 70% off. What the heck is that dripping? The roof is dripping onto our couch. Ah. That's not cool. We need to get something, some plastic or something. I brought the dog toy down to see if the horses like it. Um, but Ruby broke its foot. Yeah, all the toys that we brought like yesterday are mostly destroyed. I threw out the green frog today. Why? It was all ripped apart, all dead. Aww. Little tiny pieces. Daisy had this in her cage. She also has her bunny in her cage. She loves the bunny now. I was planning on riding today. Can you tell them that dad got his tractor stuff? Yeah, I told them dad got his tractor stuff. Third time. Third time's a charm. Anyway, I was planning on riding Why today. Why is it so shiny? And I might ride it's today. It's so sparkly. It's frost. Let's see. It's ice. Boom! Look! Thing. <laughs> two things. It's two things. Oh, you're gonna have to brush her. I know. It's because she rolled and she ran away bucking. Yeah, so we took her blanket off. That's probably why she was bucking. I'll show you guys this morning. Sam came down and was doing chores. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, kitty! <laughs> Come on! Jump to us! Come on, we'll catch you! No. He was looking for food, maybe. Man, too many things are happening all at once. So. Gabby bought some stuff off of Amazon that she found at a tax store that she, they didn't have her horse's size. So she found them on Amazon for cheaper than 35 to 70% off. Kitty's got lots of food and it's warmer today. We put a blanket on Honey two days ago just because it was going to be like the coldest ever, like minus 36 degrees or something Celsius and we didn't want her to freeze. She's got a really good coat built up. There's so much controversy in the blanket Honey. thing. We don't blanket her because she's never had a blanket. But on times when it's crazy, crazy cold, we'll blanket her for a day. But then it smushes down her fur and prevents her from keeping herself warm. So we took her blanket off last night while she was in the stall. All right, well first let's show her them the squirrel. It's a toy. So there are a bunch of things that I've been wanting to update you on and explain to you guys, but we got so busy. So yesterday I ended the vlog with Honey choosing her feed pan. And the reason that, so, and I wasn't able to share the whole story with you. The reason that I knew she would know her feed pan out of all the other feed pans was because when we first gave her her feed pan, she learned it in a second. She learned that that was her feed pan. And so like the first day we gave it to her, she didn't understand what it was or what it was for. And then she learned it in one second what it was for. And as soon as we showed her that that's her feed pan and that's where she gets her grain from, she learned that that's the food, that's the pan she gets her grain from. So basically what I didn't tell you guys is that every single night when Sam brings the feed pans outside into the arena to feed the horses, Honey looks at every single one of them because she's excited, but, when, but she looks and when she doesn't see her feed pan, she looks around. She continues to look around like she never just runs to a feed pan and starts eating. She looks for the hers and usually it's Gabby's got it and Gabby will be someplace or Sam will have it in his hand to lead her in with it. But she waits and she finds her yellow feed pan and then she follows that feed pan. And so I knew that she knew that that was her feed pan. That's why I knew she would be able to do that trick without even ever like training her to do it. But that's the thing I wanted to tell you guys about honey. It's so crazy and so weird and so bizarre. Probably normal. <laughs> so basically, 
What's weird about her is that she will watch. She watches what everybody else is doing. She watches what we're doing. She watches what the other horses are doing. And then she will copy what the other horses are doing. Or, so like you saw in yesterday's video, she did a little tiny rear. Sophie's been working on rearing with Willow. The reason she's teaching Willow to rear is because she wants her to be able to do that for little things that she has planned for her in the I just future. I hugged her and she stopped everything. I was so happy. Aww. So Honey watches Sophie teaching Willow to rear. She watches the whole thing and then she learned it. She's trying to do it. We don't want to teach her that right now because she's still growing. We don't want her to like put any extra um, weight on any of her joints. So we're not trying to we're trying we're not trying to teach it to her, but she learned it the same as she learned to spin by watching Willow. She sees Sophie working with Willow and Willow spins and then she sees it and then she just does it. Like she's this crazy anomaly of a, of a pony. So you guys know we use treat training, positive reinforcement and treat training and we're doing it wrong because I keep on saying that we're doing something wrong and I know what it is now. So one thing that we've always done is feed our horses three times a day. So we feed our horses um, the same amount of food, but we throw it three times a day. So we give them smaller portions three times a day so that they're not going without food, but that they're not on a round bale. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I inch her and she is more itchy. So Sophie's like in the process of teaching her to lay down and she does it every single time Sophie asks now, but the, the she's still not sure how she's asking. Sophie doesn't know how she's getting her to do it. She accidentally trained her to do it but she doesn't know the trigger. Do you know the trigger? I itch her and then it's like she gets more itchy or something. So she lays down and tries to roll. So I found out the reason why our horses are pinning their ears when we're doing training with them is because we're not, we're not using the treats the right way. Recently, I noticed that our horses are getting stressed over our treat training. And I'm like, what the heck? What changed and what are we doing wrong? So I looked into it and it turns out that you're supposed to offer more treats than we do. And you're supposed to offer treats that aren't appealing to the horse. So when we offer like a cookie or an apple or something that's so appealing to them, it becomes a stressful situation because they want it more. Another thing that we've been doing wrong is that we've been, I used to to say that we only play with our horses and do training stuff with them after they've had lunch because after they have lunch their bellies are sated and they're happier and the last few times we've done training with them we've been doing it before we feed lunch and that's what's happening they want they want their lunch so we need to do that make sure that we're doing that correctly Ollie really wants us but I don't know why he's not coming down look at how good he looks all fuzzy <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what is that? <laughs> so basically, um, there are mistakes that you can make when you are treat training and we are making them. We are using the wrong treats. We're using too high of a value of treat for them. So the value, like they wanted so badly that they'll do anything to get it and they get pushy, a little bit pushy. Um, also, we're not giving enough treats and also we're training them at the wrong time of the day when they're waiting for their lunch, so they're hungry. So we are gonna go back to only working with our horses after they've had lunch. It's just gonna take a little bit more rearranging of our schedule and that's okay. And we're gonna switch up the treats that we use. But I'm excited that I found out all this information. One thing that I also read is that tree training is, has such a profound it's such a profound method when training horses, but a lot of people that have never used it and don't know the basis behind it and don't know the right way, like us, can get the wrong idea about it. But we've seen, honestly, through using it in the past, how phenomenal it can be. And we are definitely gonna keep pursuing it and finding more knowledge and, and getting better at it because to us, it's been what's changed our life with our horses. Get Ollie. Hold on. Come on. Oh, good boy. Come She's on. trying to get Ollie. Come on. Uh oh. It is on. Gab right <laughs> he just threw a dirty ball at Sophie and I, and I ducked, and Sophie didn't duck. No, 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 no. <laughs> Gabby gets scared. <laughs> <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I need help. Oh, you 
<laughs> Why didn't you duck? Sophie, let's... Well, let's she said heads up. She didn't throw it. And then Sophie, she Sophie, let's no. lean back. No. Let's no. lean back. Okay. No. Sit down beside me. No. Oh, it's you so cozy. I know. Yeah, I have a back support Isn't now. this... I'm dying at me. <laughs> they don't sit behind us. It's too hot. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's the first time Gabby's ever dope behind me like that before. Sophie, let her get up. Let her get up. She's gonna fall. Stop it. Very confident myself. Tug of war. Stop. Sit, stop. Do you notice that she never. Oh my gosh. Gabby! Okay, tell Gabby to let go. Got it. <laughs> I win. The fact that I kicked her with the ball. And, and you and got, got her was amazing. I'm surprised I didn't go right past you when I went like this. What's amazing? That you got her with the ball. But you know what's weird is that when I had three boys, I was like, oh, I wish I had girls. They never wrestle each other. And then I have girls and they that? wrestle each other. Not very often, but more so now. Me more now that Sophie's bigger. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Wow, they look good. Chino and Penny were down at the far end of the field and we came down to bring in, bring them in for dinner. And Chino was galloping and he looked so good. He's ready, like, he's like, take me out. A rest is really, a rest has really done him good. It is actually a melting zone, you guys. It's so warm, it was so warm today. Everything was melting. I got new boots. Yeah, Sophie got new boots if you missed if you missed it. It's cold, but I literally put my riding pants on today. I'm like, I'm going riding. We were actually supposed to go riding. But then somebody wanted to come over and then they canceled at the last minute and then you get to ride. But it's like slippery now. Like you know when the snow gets all this water in it? Well, hello, Penny Pickle. Okay. So I'm like so excited about the whole idea. So excited about the idea of Honey knowing her color of bowl that we're gonna try and do another experiment really quick, but it's dark in here, so. I also wanted to tell you guys about um, communal stabling. Have you guys heard of that? I've been doing a lot of reading on it. I love the idea of making like a stable that all the horses can be stabled together and I think that's so super cool. Hello, Honey. She's Hello. so cute. Man, she's cute. You're cute too. So we're all trying to hold our horses. Sam's gonna put the food buckets down. No, no, you wanna put them out there? Okay, all right, I'll hold the horse in here. Penny, stay. No, put them out there. Oh, okay. I'll just hold Penny here. Okay, go fast, Sam. The horse is out here. I got this You got the mini. So we're gonna just put the, the buckets around. It's kinda dark kind of dark and we're just gonna see if they know where their buckets are honey's like, me. Yes. like I'll go go honey goes to hers uh oh crazy that's not yours Penny goes to hers nope no. yes Penny. okay so they all went to the right one except for Gracie pushed the baby off hers Willow's not the right one either. Me and Penny went to the right one and then they Gracie. So it's these two ponies here that didn't do it right, but the other ones did good. Oh, that's so cool. Gracie, don't make a hole in that bucket. Gracie, she wants to eat honeys because honeys is the only one she can steal. So that was bad to do that because our horses are not used to that routine and they were like, what's going on? And usually we feed honey in our own stall. Adorable. Don't you know that you're beautiful?